over 1.3 million square kilometers of ocean with only around 360,000 square kilometers of land were colonized by the British government in 1889 to July 7, 1978, the coconut industry was the major income earner. Before colonization, coconut was the main source of food harvested straight from the tree or grated, milked and mixed with daily meals or custom feasts. Almost 95% of the population of Solomon Islands is Melanesian, intermixed with Polynesians, Chinese, Europeans and others. The current population of the country is just over 600,000 according to the 2009 census. During colonization to independence, the coconut industry had played a major influence in the lives of Solomon Islanders. Men from different islands traveled to work in major coconut plantations owned by the Lever Brothers Limited, either on Isabel, Guadalcanal, Western Solomons or Russell Islands to earn paid income. For more than 80% of the population who live in rural areas, however, they produced copra to sell and then paid school fees for their children as well as meet their other basic needs. Coconut is one of the few potential income sources for a large number of rural suppliers and until more lucrative agricultural commodities can be developed, assisting the rehabilitation of copra industry remains a priority. It is based on this realization that the Solomon Islands government through its Ministry of Agriculture and others had resolved to relook at the coconut industry and develop new ways of reviving it. The development of the National Coconut Strategic Plan is a very important step towards making any meaningful progress of the coconut industry that continues to sustain and improve the livelihood of the rural people in Solomon Islands, especially the fact that coconut is a smallholder casper owned by most households who depend on this nature's gift as a source of food, drink, as well as income to support the family. The government has actually requested ITC to come over and help us in this process. Thank you, committee members. Uh, for us, Tony Sandana here on the back, myself, Hernan, it's a pleasure to be here uh, working with you side by side and uh, we represent also the International Trade Center's Executive Director. Past value-added development initiatives has been made in isolation of tragic, a strategic approach and therefore encountered constraints that are beyond the level of those firms or organizations to advance successfully. A case in point is what SEMA has attempted with the establishment of copper mills in the country. This is what led to the formation of the Solomon Islands Coconut Industry Secretariat, SICIS, supported by the International Trade Centre, ITC, the Ministry of Agriculture, Rural Development and Trade and Commerce, and then endorsed by the government. The Cabinet has approved the establishment of the Solomon Islands Coconut Industry Secretariat with the overall responsibility of developing a management and implementation strategy. Members of the Solomon Islands Coconut Industry Secretariat come from the Ministries of Rural Development, Commerce Industries, Labour and Immigration, Agriculture and Livestock, Foreign Affairs, Farmers, Private Sector 
and other stakeholders. It means establishing a coconut commission through an act of parliament to ensure that the industry is protected and supported. This must be done. The objectives of the SICIS are to create a coconut sector strategy development and implementation coordination body. Because the plan is tragic and that the implementation of certain components may take several years, the commitment of whatever governments that come into power is essential for the progress and success of the plan. Finally, I wish to acknowledge the efforts and commitments made by the Solomon Island Coconut Industry Secretariat and the International Trade Center, IDG, for facilitating the design process and the formulation of the strategy leading to World Digital. With those few remarks, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed my pleasure and privilege to officially announce the Solomon Islands strategy for coconut launch. Obtain market information to assess business feasibility and plan for production in processing. In the coconut industry, we are now faced with the need to diversify products. And as such, value addition through downstream processing is fundamental, which practically means understanding our current needs, our capability, and the resources in existence. Organize farmers and pilot business-oriented associations to achieve buyer requirements and increase overall income at the farmer level. What we got so far with the farmers, all the farmers haven't got what they need to make first grade copper. So we really need the help of the government, aid donors and stakeholders to help the farmers to really improve, improve the coconut industry. We've got land, we've got manpower, uh, we need, just need the, the education and the know-how and the assistance to get, on the, to get on, the, on the way. Develop finance mechanisms to enable strategy implementation and increased investments by private sector. So to have a bank for helping industry, coconut industry, have now developed in very strong land, long country. Develop a coconut processing industry for value added and diversification, improve business environment and support services through coconut sector aligned policy making. The coconut uh, industry sector from Solomon Island has been to, to Thailand uh, thanks to the program and we, we, we were able to meet with uh, uh, buyers, uh, technology experts and farmers like myself and uh, in that sense we know exactly what we want in order that we can downstream process the commodity. Until a few years ago however, price fluctuations in the world market for copra have forced the interest for coconut to drop. So other crops such as cocoa, timber, palm oil as well as fisheries and mining began to take more priority. But an important point is that there are still more coconuts available than these new attractions, which literally means developing them would need more work and investments. To summarize, improving and re-strengthening the coconut industry in Solomon Islands is now possible with the formation of the Solomon Islands Coconut Industry Secretariat. This means the country can again begin to benefit more from the coconut industry because the new strategy emphasizes on adding more products than before. In other words, copra was the main commodity in the past from coconut. Our people, the majority of our people, will always remain in the village. They must have a source of income. They must make a living. They must pay for the children, their children's school fees. They must pay for their basic necessities. Copra is there. It is available. It grows on its own. We can grow it so that it becomes truly a source of income for us. But once the Solomon Islands Coconut Industry Secretariat's new strategic plan is implemented, more products such as coconut water, coconut milk, 
coconut flour and processed foods, animal feed and copra meal, desiccated coconut, crude and refined coconut oil, biodiesel and virgin coconut oil among others will be added. For that basic reason, devising a strategic plan is crucial to enable Solomon Islands to become uh, focused at the stakeholder level, including political leadership, government agency, private sector, growers, processors, shippers, exporters, being fully aware of the specific role uh, they need to play to move the industry forward. That points to the essence of getting the inputs of those relevant stakeholders into the strategic plan at the initial stages. If we do not get the wider community stakeholders in input into the plan, implementation would be just as difficult. The message here is that coconut products from Solomon Islands are going to be top grade. Once we've done with this work here, once it is up and going, we will put into the market products that are competitive worldwide. One thing is sure, now we will align to what you want to do and we can only align to We will do it, I'm sure, with, in coordination with all the partners in the area. But we should all make sure that in those areas where we can make great development of the added value that come from the production in your country for the benefit of your development, for the benefit of your people, we will be by your side. The European Union is very proud to support this kind of project, but we are supporting it in a lot of countries. What myself, as a representative of the European Union, here I would like to see is that you made of this a success such that when the next round of support will come to the agricultural sector, the Solomon Island will take a lion chair. This will certainly give Solomon Islands a better outcome in the coconut industry than in the past.